just when I thought I was finally done talking to you, try thinking, here I am again. Let's give it one more go, shall we? Here are some comments on a video by Try Thinking, and uh, let me just t hit the highlights. Try Thinking says again, we have the realizing Euclid tests. They are a problem for your model. If you're willing to talk honestly about them, let us know we can talk. As you know, I'm always interested in an honest talk, so I said as much. Proofs from first principles, I'd be glad to join you in working through them together. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be doing the style of proof that you see Bev doing, but instead, what I will do is follow along with the predictions of the various models. Bev says, I'm up for you to explain with whatever means you have at your disposal. Um, okay, so let's give this a try. The goal now is to lay out in extremely simple terms how the realizing Euclid test reacts to the two main hypotheses that we are discussing. So um, you've seen in here, Bev referred to something as my model, uh, as in, you know, my model. Uh, and I stress that I'm not claiming to own any particular model. There are two hypotheses that we will be looking at and we're going to look at how that test, the realizing Euclid test, reacts in those different, uh, under those different conditions. So we're gonna evaluate that from the beginning to the end, very carefully in tiny, small steps. Let's start with a very simple summary of what the two hypotheses are. Hypothesis number one, plumb bobs hang down parallel to one another. So all plumb bobs hang down and no matter where they are in the world, they should all be parallel. In this hypothesis, we further would, would say um, all risers on a single water level lie along a horizontal plane. Under hypothesis number one, for a single water level, the risers that bring you up to where the level of the water is all of those must lie along the same horizontal plane. Hypothesis number two, plumb bobs hang down towards the center of a sphere and are therefore not parallel to one another. Under this hypothesis, we say, all risers on a single water level are the same distance from the center of the sphere. And here's the important part. We have two hypotheses, and we're not going to merely accept either one. We're not going to say one is mine and one is yours. We're just going to evaluate how would this test react if one or the other of these two hypotheses is true. First, we'll go through hypothesis number one under the conditions of the realizing Euclid test and make a prediction of if hypothesis number one is true, what will we measure in that test? And then when we're done with that, we will move on to hypothesis number two, and then we will ask the same question. If hypothesis number two is correct, what would we measure then under that same realizing Euclid setup? Finally, a very quick summary, once again, for those who maybe haven't seen it before, what is the realizing Euclid test? This is the setup. This is a test that, uh, that Bev and uh, Spot on Level developed and they and others have already conducted. So the data is available. Illustrating here, two separate water levels. I've drawn one in red and one in green. Each of the separate water levels has four risers on it. Um, and they are separated by the dimensions that we've shown here. 200 meters, 100 meters, 100 meters. And then the next one is, you know, 200 meters, 100 meters, 100 meters the other direction. These pair of risers um, are going to be you know, very close to each other so that it'll be easy to see the water level side by side of those two. And then 100 meters away, there's another pair and we can compare those. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna be asking for predictions we're not doing the full scientific method here, but we are pulling aspects of it so that we can illustrate how the test part of the, of the scientific method applies here in this situation. We are going to have a hypothesis. I've illustrated two of those. 
we're going to have a prediction. Based on this setup, we're gonna make a prediction, and then ideally after its prediction, then we would do the test to see whether the prediction is correct or not. So what I wanna do with this video, and it will be a series of videos, we will make the predictions. So we'll make the prediction under hypothesis one, we'll make the prediction under hypothesis two. And hopefully through that process, the goal is to get us to agree what the predictions are. What I've put together here will be a series of exercises, a series of questions that I will, I'm trying to break this down into the, the simplest possible step-by-step -step procedure. Um, and I'm going to ask you, the viewers, to participate. So I will make short videos where I outline some questions and then I will kick you to a Google form where you, the viewers, will answer the questions to, to illustrate that we are on the same page, that we understand each other. I, I am a little worried that people are going to say that the questions are condescending, um, that it's, it's insultingly simple. The goal here is to make steps so tiny, so small, that there is no possibility of disagreement on them. And then to test the fact that there was no possibility of disagreement by having viewers answer the questions. So uh, I'll ask you, please try not to be insulted if they are too simple for you. And don't be insulted if it's not clear for some reason. Just ask for clarifications and I'd be happy. They're not supposed to be any trick questions here. They are supposed to be very simple steps along the process towards making the ultimate prediction. What will follow is a series of very short videos along with Google Forms where you can provide your answers. Bev, I am calling on you to please fill out these forms. That is how we will join in working through them together. Just answer those questions, fill out those forms, put your name on the form for me so that uh, I know that that one's yours. I will put the, the next video right up there and also I'll put a list of all of the Google Forms right down in the description, right down there. So you don't even have to watch the videos, you can go straight to the forms. They actually have all the information you need to fill them out. You need any explanation though, watch the videos uh, that will describe each one, particularly the first one, which should be floating right above my head already. All right, I'll see you in the next video.